What is up everybody, it is SCP and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be starting a new series on the channel and that is going to be a very different idea and something that I haven't done anything close to before here on my channel. And that is going to be, I'm going to be starting a new NCAA Dynasty, but it has a twist on it. So instead of just being your normal NCAA Dynasty where you pick one team and you follow it week by week by week and you go through seasons, which has kind of been... I mean, it's not boring, I would say. I mean, it's fun. Like, watching this is a fun series to follow and a fun series to record and plan everything. But it just gets a little stale after a while. And also, disclaimer, this will not be replacing Washington State. This will just be another series on my channel that I'll mix in there along with Washington State. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through every single conference and I'm going to pick one team and I'm going to control that team. So I'll end up picking four teams and I'll explain why in a second, not 11. So I'll pick four teams and I'll follow those four teams week by week. I'll play all of their games, I'll do all the recruiting, and I'll do everything with them. And it'll just be a more diverse, I guess, experience than just having one team and play them with them each week. So, the teams I'll do, be doing from each conference, the ACC I'll be doing a team, the American I'll be doing a team, the Big 12 I'll be doing a team. I won't throw in the Big 10 because I played with them and I played in the Big 10 with Durand. And I feel like I already pretty much gave a pretty good tour of that conference and I played pretty much all those teams on this channel already. So I don't really feel like there's a point in doing that again. This is Conference USA, it's just the competition is not good. The uniforms are boring for a lot of the teams. And a lot of teams only have like one helmet and two jerseys and one pants or something like that. So, and the stadiums are kind of boring as well. And I just don't feel like it's that good at football, so I won't be doing one for them. The independents, I would either have to do Army or BYU, and I don't want to do either of those teams. So I won't be doing that. The MAC, I, again, Durant already played there, so I won't be doing that. I will be doing one for the Mountain West. I won't be doing one for the Pac-12 because I already have a team right now currently in the Pac-12 in Washington State. The SEC, I'll have one, and then the Sun Belt. The Sun Belt, most of those teams should be in the FCS anyway, so I will not be doing one for them either. So we look at here, custom conferences are all set up like in real life. Obviously in the ACC, you got Louisville in there like in real life. Oh, and the American, obviously you have the East and the West set up with all those teams like in real life. Big 12 is that. I will have a conference championship in the Big 12. I will mod this as well, like everything else. This will be a modded series. So yeah, everything is up to date, and now let's get to the selection of the teams. So my first team coming out of the Atlantic Coast Conference will be the Duke Blue Devils. Now they're at 86 overall, but why Duke? They're a three-star prestige as well, but why Duke? Well, one, they play in a good conference, and they're always in the land of medioc mediocrity. And what I mean by that is they're always like either a six and six, seven or five, or a, a good year, an eight and four team. They're never, you never see them be a 9 or 10 win team. I mean, you do, but it's rare. Usually they're a 6, a six 7, or 8 win team, and they go to a mediocre bowl game, and they usually win it. Well, I mean, they have been winning it. They have a good quarterback in Daniel Jones, but he's a senior. or Oh, he's actually a junior, but he will be leaving more than likely after the first season. But they do have a good running back there, so it should be definitely pretty interesting for Duke. They have a lot of uniform options and very cool uniforms. The black, uni or the black helmets with the blue D on them, it looks really neat. Their stadium is a little below average. It looks really good in real life now because they renovated it, but that was after this game was made. So the stadium, obviously, they don't have the logo in the center of the field. It doesn't look amazing, but that's really the only down part to this team. So that'll be the team from the ACC. So my second selection will be a team from the American Conference, and that will be the Houston Cougars. They're, again, a three-star prestige. They're an 81 overall, and they have a lot of room to work with. They have De'Eric King, who may have a chance to win the Heisman, not his junior year, which is the first season, but in the second season, his senior year, he could win the Heisman. That's definitely a very good possibility. They have Ed Oliver, who's a 99 overall as a junior. He'll probably leave, though, after his first year. But other than that, they have pretty much nothing on that team. They have a lot of seniors that are like 77 overalls to 80 overalls, and they just have a lot of room to work with. They have a really cool stadium that looks out at the skyline of Houston. They only have one helmet, but they do have some pretty cool uniforms, in my opinion and they play in a good conference in the American Conference. And also, if you make the conference championship, they play at your home field, which I think is a very cool thing to have. Obviously, I like the big atmosphere of a conference championship game, like the Big Ten plays at Ford Field and have all the cool logos on the field and everything. But I think having a home conference championship game is just as cool. So Houston will be my selection from the American Conference. My selection from the Big 12 will, of course, be the Kansas Jayhawks. I think this one was gonna be pretty obvious. But why Kansas? Well, they've had three wins in the last three seasons. That's pretty terrible. And honestly, Kansas just has so much room to work with. 
They have a star running back who's a true freshman named Puka Williams, who's only a nine, who's a 90 overall as a freshman, only a freshman. They have a bunch of different uniform combinations. They have very cool uniforms, and they have a cool stadium, and they're just a terrible team with so much room to work with. I think it'll be very fun to do. Obviously, Les Miles is coming, going there in real life, so I think they could be okay next season and a couple of years following. Puka Williams will definitely be a guy to build around in Kansas, and this will honestly be one of my favorite teams to work with. My last selection will be from the SEC. They currently are the best overall that I picked today, but they aren't, they're going to be one of the hardest teams to build. That will be Arkansas. They may have the worst record after year one, but they may be the best team that I have. Just because they play in such a tough conference with such, such tough competition. I mean, just look at those two teams to the left and right of them. You have number one Alabama, number nine Auburn. Both teams that will probably lose by 32. They're a four-star prestige, and they are a 88 overall. So they are a very solid team. They have Ty Story, who's only a 79 overall quarterback, but he is also a junior, so he could be pretty good in his second season as a senior. But we definitely need to recruit some quarterbacks there. They have really cool uniforms. They have a really cool stadium. They fit all the intangibles that I wanted, and that'll be the last selection that I pick. So that will be the episode. If you guys are ready and excited for this series, please be sure to drop a like and to subscribe. The next episode will come on Saturday, I believe. Actually, no, it'll come next Saturday. We will do a full-on introduction of the league, showing or of all the teams, showing every single top player, showing all the red shirts, basically going through all the schedules and everything as well. I'll set all that up, going through the recruits, and we will. It'll probably be almost around a 40-minute episode. I'm expecting maybe 30 minutes going through all these teams. Probably not that long, but it'll be a long episode. So until then, I'll see you guys all next time. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.